Hello everybody. Today I want to share with you a basic CICD setup based on what we have in Excel Springer in the build team, uh, which is an app uh, with around 500k monthly active users. So uh, first I want to check out with you uh, this uh, diagram here, which describes an example of uh, what your workflow uh, might look like, right? Um, we have, uh, first we have a development branch, developer starts working on the new thing, whether a feature or a bug, finishes uh, working on it, raises a pull request, and then two things happen. First, uh, as usual, team members uh, review the pull request, and second of all, CI would uh, run unit test, which is very convenient, right? If the code looks good and unit test passed, the pull request is merged by developer. Right. And then actually what uh, can also happen is that whenever a pull request is merged, we deploy a new build to the test flight or maybe Firebase, let's say, right? And today we want to talk about this little thing here, CI runs unit test. Maybe later on we'll discuss also this part, uh, how we might deploy a build to the test flight, right? So let's kick off. Uh, we have a repository uh, with a starter project. I'll share a link uh, below, but basically here how it would look like. You might want to fork the repository so that you can have the full control over GitHub actions, right? since I have it already here and also on my uh, MacBook here as well. I'll just check out to the start branch uh, just to have the starter project ready. And um, just so you know, it's basically an empty Swift UI app, right? Nothing else. So we just have uh, one test here, which we all actually um, are going to run later. Let's actually open the Visual Studio Code or something of your preference. I just like it when I work with your Ruby files, right? First of all, what we want to actually create a folder GitHub where we would like to create another folder called workflows and we want to create our for first uh, workflow file so we call it a pull request as so a file extension is uh, yaml because uh, it's uh, usually a configuration format that is used to describe workflows for cic right okay so i'm not going to uh, type it from scratch otherwise it will take uh, too much time i'll just copy and paste it here and we can go over it and see what actually we have here so first of all we have a name uh, straightforward right then we want to described when this uh, workflow should be triggered. First of all, we want to trigger it when we have a pull request that points to the develop branch, right? And uh, this thing right here just tells that, hey, we want to actually be able to trigger this workflow manually. Okay, awesome. So workflows actually consist of jobs and we have only one here that is called test. You can rename it, rename it to, whatever, or to whatever you want, like testimonial or whatever. Um, just kidding. So let's leave it like test um, runs on Mac OS, right? Um, so the machine actually starts in the clean state. So nothing is there. First of all, we want to uh, get our code there. We use this action called checkout here. Then we want to cancel previous run. So basically, if this workflow is already running on the same branch, and we start a new one. Uh, so for example, we push a new commit. We don't want to waste time and money and we just cancel the previous run. Yes, that's uh, why we have it here. Then we set up Xcode um, to be able to run unit tests, obviously. Then we get Ruby, Ruby to get uh, gem and gem to get uh, bundle and bundle to actually get Fastlane, which uh, we are going to use to run, um, yeah, to run unit tests as well. So then we have a little thing here uh, just for the cache, right? Uh, so what we want to do is actually we don't want to fetch uh, packages um, over and over again uh, for, uh, for, each, um, for each workflow run. We want to share, it, um, share the cache if possible, right? So that's pretty much it. Uh, but the most important part that we're interested in is missing, which is unit test. And we, uh, we are going to build it right now. So. First of all, we want to create a gem file. Gem file, so gem, gem is basically like SPM for Ruby. And uh, all we want to uh, get here, uh, the only dependency we care about is Fastlane, right? Um, right now we uh, we can actually run, if you have uh, Ruby installed in your machine and bundler as well, we can just uh, run, sorry, not Fastlane, but bundle install. This thing will install uh, Fastlane. So I'll just uh, fast forward it uh, when it's done. Okay, it's already here. So Fastlane is installed, awesome. Uh, what we want to do now is actually create a new folder um, for Fastlane. We call it Fastlane, obviously, and the first file we create uh, is going to be called Fast, uh, not fast lane, but fast file. This is uh, how it might look like, right? Uh, so we declare a version platform. Now we can actually add a lane. I'm just going to uh, copy and paste it here as well. It's very simple. You see, uh, we have a lane, which is basically like a function that you can call. 
uh, from a command line or that CI also can use, right? So it's like an interface basically for whatever you build inside Fastlane or with Fastlane. It uses a tool provided by Fastlane called Scan. Um, it is used to run uh, unit tests, right? It's not on the all it takes to run unit tests, obviously. We have to specify uh, which exactly test we want to run, like for example, which scheme, because you might have many schemes. This uh, will create a scan file, uh, scan file for the scan, right? And I'm going to also copy and paste configuration I prepared before. So we declare a few things like workscapes, uh, workspace uh, scheme and other things. You can change them according to your project, but basically that's what we have here. Another important thing, what we want to add is git ignore file, git ignore file. Um, so we actually have a build folder uh, which um, is going to store some of the things like build artifacts and also um, test reports from Fastlane. Okay, uh, I hope it should be enough to actually run unit tests uh, with Fastlane right now. So let's type it in like that. So Fastlane unit tests and let's see how it works. Okay, you see it running. Okay. Here we go. So Fastlane tools finished successfully. We run one test without any failure. Awesome. So now we can move on. Now we want to actually add, extend our workflow file. This is how we would run unit tests, but since we also have our uh, cache set up here, we want to do something else. And now you can see, so we, uh, if there is not, uh, no cache, we just ignore it and run unit tests as usual. And if we have a cache, we actually pass a skip package dependencies resolution to true because we hope that we have them already. Okay, so uh, to see how it works, we, uh, we will have to actually check out, uh, let's check out a new branch. Let's call it um, test uh, tutorial. I don't know, you can call it whatever you want. And uh, we want to check what we have added. Okay, looks good and we want to add all of them and um, comment, so. So before we go to GitHub, I actually forgot something, which is a Ruby version. Let's add it real quick. I'll use 2.7.2.2. Uh, it's something that works for me right now. I hope it will work for you as well. Git add, git commit, git push. Let's see how it works. Okay, so now we are ready to go to GitHub and actually erase our pull request that should be able to actually trigger what we, we, we have built so far. So test tutorial for we create the pull request and let's see how it works. So after a while, we see this thing pop up and uh, yeah, let's see what's inside. Okay, awesome. Our test pass, fast lane run successfully and we executed one test with zero failures. Awesome. Now we can see this beautiful green mark here. All checks have passed. Awesome, congrats on your first uh, CICD workflow. Awesome, see you next time, ciao.